Facebook is using AI to help map the world. This is either conjuring up images of a better understood world to you or something closer to the Terminator. But what exactly is AI mapping? What does Facebook's parent company Meta claim to want to achieve with this technology? And why are there big reasons to be skeptical? Technology is wild and crazy nowadays. For example, I know that only 20% of you watching are subscribed to the channel. Help us keep making these videos by subscribing to the channel and sharing them across the internet. Speaking of the internet, one of the most prevalent companies online is Facebook. And to say they're unpopular is to put their reputation lightly. What with shady practices, their site being a melting pot of misinformation and conspiracy theories, that's not to mention the other questionable stuff that they've played a part in like the Cambridge Analytica scandal. Facebook has almost 3 billion users and hundreds of billions of dollars at their disposal. So it's understandable that people view their actions with skepticism, especially when it comes to things like AI mapping that they claim will have great humanitarian benefits. So what do they even mean by mapping? Well, in geography, maps are some of the most valuable tools we have. And maps themselves have been created and used by people for as long as civilization has existed. In Facebook's case, we're specifically talking about roadmaps to start, but there's also population density, topography maps. If there's a stat that can be measured in an area, there's likely a map for it. And in the modern day, there is still so much that hasn't been mapped yet. Thousands of years of human history, and we still don't really understand what much of our world looks like. When we initially think about maps, we're thinking about land, but most of our world is covered by the ocean. Even recent studies have shown that we have more comprehensive maps of the moon than of our own oceans. As of last year, it was reported that a staggering 56% of our own planet is left unmapped if we include the ocean. However, this is set to change with projects such as Seabed 2030, which aims to create comprehensive maps that include up to 80% of the ocean floor by 2030. Understanding this will help us not only learn more about how the world is laid out, but how the world functions as well, such as in the laying of undersea cables for communication. In our everyday lives though, we're used to using maps differently either for some sort of sat nav, planning trips, or just figuring out how long it would take to get from Lisbon to Cape Town by way of Istanbul. 226 hours is the fastest route, by the way, just watch out for those toll roads. Perhaps the most famous tech company engaged in mapping is Google. Google Maps, along with just being incredibly useful, got even more popular after the introduction of Google Street View. Google Street View was a phenomenon when it launched and it continued to be so for the next several years. While this is a pretty well accepted part of the internet today, back in 2007, <laughs> mind blowing. And Street View is just one of several Google products that had this impact. I know when I think of comprehensive interactive world maps, I think of Google Earth. It first launched in 2001 and Google Earth was revolutionary for the time. And yes, it's a different product from Google Maps and Street View. Basically, Google's team made an interactive digital globe of the Earth and then overlaid a mixture of satellite data, aerial photos, and geographical data from around the world to make as complete a map of the human inhabited Earth as possible but even Google don't provide the complete picture. In 2019, it was announced that Google Earth now covered around 98% of the inhabited Earth, which honestly is absolutely staggering. If you look through Google Maps, you'll notice some blank spots, spots that can't be seen via street view, areas that have spotted data at best, in the most extreme examples, certain areas may be blurred or be missing street names. When you hear these descriptions, I wouldn't be surprised if your mind immediately jumped to North Korea. This is understandably a place where Google isn't gonna be able to send their Street View crew. Now there's a surprising amount of info about North Korea out there. Google Maps has pictures of major landmarks and a pretty detailed map of its capital, Pyongyang. Also complete modern rail maps of the North Korean passenger rail network are out there, along with maps of the Pyongyang Metro. Those latter two have been particularly publicized by tourists as guided tours of North Korea are apparently a thing occasionally. Whilst map info of North Korea is limited, it's not non-existent. So how do we fill in these gaps? A lot of the world is changing. Climate change is reshaping regions. Some places have limited available data and some places would be rather hostile to a potential Google Street View team. This is where Meta's AI mapping comes in. For 
a set of tools called Map with AI, done in conjunction with OpenStreetMap. Meta is claiming to show the future of map making through the new studies into using deep learning AI. In 2019, their team demonstrated this process by mapping over 300,000 miles of previously unmapped roads in Thailand. The process, in the simplest of terms, involves taking already available satellite images and using AI to predict road patterns. Basically, by using deep learning to gather as much info as possible about regions through this data, Meta AI can predict road networks with surprising accuracy. Then, to account for any inaccuracies, there is a tool that goes along with Map with AI called Rapid, which allows map experts to go in and manually examine, correct, and verify the AI driven maps. Meta's AI research has had more cartographic impact than just on street maps. In 2016 and 2017, a Red Cross mission in Malawi was aided in part by another Facebook AI aided map. In this early instance, the technology was used to create comprehensive population density maps. This was particularly useful in this case as 97% of Malawi is uninhabitable. Having a picture of where people lived greatly aided the mission by cutting down time in those uninhabited areas. It's super impressive technology, but it's also in the hands of Mark Zuckerberg. Mm -hmm. Meta reported in 2019 that their new AI predicted street mapping method took only half the time as a traditional human focused method. Facebook has also gained a bit of a poor reputation around the internet when it comes to AI. Most recently, their new AI chatbot, Blenderbot 3, was unleashed on the internet. And after scouring the internet for topics and ways to interact with people, within a few days, this chatbot turned racist and latched onto a number of conspiracy theories and rather humorously formed a vendetta against Meta CEO and rumored lizard man Mark Zuckerberg. I, I, am, I am not a lizard. Um, Not to mention Facebook's reputation for having rather dubious data collection policies. Meta is also familiar with lawsuits related to user data and user privacy. It's not just Facebook either. Google is also no stranger to lawsuits surrounding user data. Earlier this year, several US states filed lawsuits against Google in regards to how data is used by Google Maps. They allege that Google Maps' use of location tracking and the amount of data stored about users was a breach of privacy. On a social network though, the platform itself is sold as a social place for users. The real model is compiling the user data that is collected and then selling it to advertisers. And that brings us to the biggest worry about Meta's new AI mapping. Is this at its core a new way to gain more info about the world, more info on people and their living habits, and even to help find and develop a presence in new markets? Meta claims that its biggest benefit of AI mapping is perhaps helping in humanitarian aid or purely in better understanding the world. And it's hard to argue with these points, but it's also likely that this could also be used for methods to get more data to sell to advertisers. It's hard to believe that this is done solely for the benefit of everyday map users, especially as Facebook is testing this technology with products such as Facebook Marketplace. I'm curious to know what you guys think about this in the comments below, or if you've noticed this in any of your own Facebook usage, if any. This is just a little bit in the realm of speculation, but being skeptical is understandable when we look at Meta's track record. AI-aided mapping is a fairly new frontier. Projects like this have the ability to help us see more of the world around us, literally. We live in an era where there seems to be a constant talk about sending manned missions back to the moon, but the fact is there is a ton of Earth we've still not explored. Humans have been around for thousands upon thousands of years, but there are still parts of the planet that are poorly explored, poorly mapped, and as a result, poorly understood. Whether or not the future of mapping is defined by AI, attempts to map the Earth better will themselves get better and better as time goes on. No matter what, people will always be curious about their home planet.